How has Gert, your wife, dealt with the demands of military life? And where was your, where was your son educated? And what is he doing in California? Well, my wife, my son, they're a tremendous Army family. You know, I treated them worse than anybody should ever have to treat their family. We were married 33 years in uniform. We moved to 31 different houses and or apartments, or in one case, a trailer. And our, one of our favorite hobbies was how to hang the pictures in one evening. And you always knew which picture went where. The only problem you had was to get the pick out which set of drapes would match which wall color, you know, in which new house you lived in. And we did that for 33 years. And um, the Army wives always had a saying that they would give each other. They have these wives support group, and the saying was, it would be, you know, they had a little crocheted flower pot with a little flower, and it would say, bloom where you're planted. And it's sort of the motto of the Army family is to do the best you can when when the service members moved around, if you're the husband or the wife and you're following them around, you try to set up home and have a good family life and try to live with the uh, uncertainties and instabilities of Army life. And I think my wife did a great job of it. My son was, um, he went to all these different schools in Germany and Belgium and Pauline Memorial and Colorado Springs for the fifth. And he went to Washington Irving Intermediate School. And then he went to Silver Valley High School for a year. And, in that high school, he actually came to me and said, Dad, I'm really worried about this school. I just don't feel like I'm getting you know, the education I should get. I, I practically went bankrupt getting into a private school in Colorado called the Colorado Springs, called the Fountain Valley School. And, um, and then uh, he ended up going to Georgetown University. And now he's a screenwriter in Hollywood. He did four years in the Army. He's a, he's a second lieutenant, a first lieutenant, served in the 4th Infantry Division, Fort Carson. And one day he came to me and he said, uh, Dad, he said, uh, he said, I think I'm going to get out of the Army. He was 25 years old. He said, I, I've been in the Army for 25 years. <laughs> he said, and, uh, he said and, and I'm good at it, he said. And some of the sergeants that work for me, they used to work for you. And they tell me I'm a better leader than you were. And he said, if I stayed in, I could probably end up like you. He said, but I just want to go someplace where I challenge, I want to do something that I could, you know, where I could fail. He said, so I'm going to go to Hollywood and be a screenwriter. <laughs> I said, no, 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 don't do that. But he's a very strong-willed, smart guy. And so he went out there and that's what he did. And that's where he 